darkest night And I'm thinking I'm out of sight But I must come to realize Allah's watching me My every breath, my every sigh My every tear, my every cry Every moment of my life Allah's watching me My every breath is watching me My every step is watching me my every move is watching me Allah's watching me My creator is watching me My sustainer is watching me My Lord is watching me Allah's watching me Every time I miss a lot Fail to pay my dues a car Miss my fast in Ramadan Allah's watching me الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ولي الصالحين ونشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا وشفيعنا محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيتها النفس المطمئنة ارجعي إلى ربك راضية مرضية فادخلي في عبادي وادخلي جنتي آمنت بالله صدق الله العظيم اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين أما بعد the topic which we are to discuss and learn is the most important topic and subject in the entire world and universe because for this topic the Anbiya alayhi salam and all the Rusul and the Prophets were sent for this mission. There are people who will teach you how to do business or you may say their technological advancements they came after even all the Prophets when they actually physically departed from this world. When all the Prophets and Anbiya alayhim salam they physically departed from this world and as you know in the last few centuries technological advancement, how to live a luxurious life, how to fly with the aeroplane so that everyone can do, 
cars, technology, internet, media. What is the message in there? That all these advancements came after when all the prophets had conveyed their message. The world technology was not so much advanced in the previous century from Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam as it has advanced worldly wise technologically in the last few centuries. The message in there is that this advancement the technology and in other fields as well worldly fields that if it was so precious it would have been taught by the Ambiya and the Rusul and the messengers and they would have been the first people to uh, teach these things and the technology would have existed in their own lifetimes so the very reason they ke these things came after, this means that these people did not come to teach these matters. Because it shows that the people could attain that with their own intellect and with their own endeavor and effort. So what message they brought to the humanity they brought the message to the humanity that they could achieve falah and salvation. And as I have mentioned before that the falah, the word falah which you hear in the azan as well, hayya ala al-falah, hayya ala al-falah, come towards salvation success kamyabi ki taraf aaye acha jis bande ko neend aa jaye wo beshak upar ja ke so jaye kyunki usko fayda nahi hoga whoever falls sleep or feel drowsy they should go and have some rest 20 minutes 15 20 minutes and then actually come back kyunki ye to Instruction, these are instructions to fight a war against a very uh, shrewd and sharp enemy. If you are going to listen to instructions of war, with eyes closed and with half attentive, before beginning you have failed. Before even beginning you have failed. So, I was saying that the Anbiya Ali Muslim call people towards what? Falah. They say Falah like Ulaikahumul Muflihoon. Or the main message of Islam after Azan is the message of Islam. Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah, Ashadu Anna Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hayya ala salah, hayya ala salah, hayya ala al falah, hayya ala al falah. So this calling towards falah and success, what is that kind of falah which the prophets and anbiya, they call you towards? You can say, I am successful because I am earning a lot of money, I have whatever I want, I have achieved uh, a political status, I am successful, I married the woman I liked and I'm healthy, and this is success. But the, the prophets and Anbiya Ali Muslim, 
especially Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the falah they talk about, the success they talk about is a different kind. It's a success after which there is no failure. Now ask the people of the world, is there any success after there is no failure? Have you got any kind of that nature, success or falah, salvation after that where is there is no failure? That you achieved a, a political status after that you won't come down, you become a king, you don't come down. So falah means that success after that where there is no failure. You are healthy, you go to the gym, you are very healthy. But falah means achieving that health after that which you don't become ill. So have someone got that health after they won't become unhealthy? So Anbiya Ali Muslim talk about that kind of falah, that kind of health. After that, which there is no illness, they talk about the falah they call you towards is such peace or enjoyment after which there is no grief. Here you can achieve temporal enjoyment. A person who smokes drug, he might say, I have a enjoyment as well. A person who commits zina, he might say, I have enjoyment as well. A person who eats haram, he might say, he has enjoyment as well. A person who is watching a film, he might say, I have enjoyment as well. So these things which I am saying, it is not for you only, it is for you and actually other people that how to call them towards the same mission the same purpose we are all plus minus 124,000 Anbiya Ali Muslim and approximately 124,000 Sahaba Rizwan Walali Ajmai and <coughs> millions of awliya called towards and you can become you have that potential you have that if you are a human being you have that potential to Stand in front of shaitan, to stand in front of shaitan, looking into his eyes and standing your ground. The very reason you are a human being, you have that potential. That is why he is very, very, very fearful. He was fearful from Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam and the children of Adam. So these are the tools and knowledge and weaponry you, you need. So Anbiya Ali Muslim, they say falah, that falah, that kamyabi or success after that which there is no failure, that health after where there is no illness, that peace after where there is no grief, there is no grief, no sadness, that happiness after there is no sadness. People might say in this world, that's how you give dawah to people because people will be pleased with wherever they are. Temporarily, they might be getting happiness from a man, from business partners, from women, from TV, from their career, from their children. But ask them this question, that what's going to happen after, meaning after some years or after one day? There's guarantee that this happiness will stay. No, Anbiya Ali Muslim, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the leader of all of them, called towards that youth age, that ideal age of physical health after where there is no old age. وہ ایسی جوانی کی طرف بلاتے ہیں فلا کا مطلب ہے ایسی جوانی جس کے بعد بڑھاپا نہیں ہے that is the fala we listen to like unheard hayya ala al fala hayya ala al fala and this is all the message in that hayya ala al fala come towards this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying 
Because we don't understand that, so we think wherever we are getting success, health, etc., etc., as I have said previously many times, that people are trying to prolong their age by using cosmetics, by using anti-aging creams and cosmetic surgery and all these things, but bring that person who is living up to now for 1000 years okay aaj ye wo banda samne jo 1000 saal se zinda reh raha hai 1000 years wo reh raha hai he is living either on the basis of technology or on the basis of magic kisi bhi taqat ke sath jadoo se shaitano ne the shayateen or the jinnat or the people of the world or the Scientists of the world have managed to keep this person 1,000 years alive. So why a person is fooling oneself actually by these things? The time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala controls. So Rasulullah sallallahu falah, he calls you towards such youthful age where after there is no old age such such wealth such treasures of wealth after there is no poverty here how can you big kings they become beggars look what's happening in Algeria what's happening in Egypt what's happened in Iraq what happened here and there many many political figures they were at higher stage in Bangladesh Pakistan America India now many of them have just been killed or they are in hospitals or they are just suffering heart attacks and things. But Prophet ﷺ calls you towards those treasures, that wealth after where there is no poverty. He calls you towards such kingdom aisi baad shahat ki taraf bulate hain jiske baad wo hai that kingdom is not going to finish. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Iza ra'ayta, thamma ra'ayta. When you will see on the day of judgment, in Jannah, thamma ra'ayta, again you will see, what will you see? O oh believer, O oh my friend, Naimau wa mulkan kabira, a vast great kingdoms of uh, heaven which will be for you and which will not be taken from you, which will only increase. Here, kingdoms, what is it? Earth. And people have made kingdoms. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not given preference, significance, value to earth. Are you discussing? Uh, my father the other day was mentioning that there have been four kings in this world who has been given great kingdoms. Four kings. Two of them were highest level kuffar and two of them were the most closest people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if this world and worldly kingdom had any significance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had not given it to the, his enemies. چار بادشاہ گزرے اس دنیا میں جن اللہ نے پوری دنیا کی بادشاہ ہے تقریبا دی بہت بڑی بادشاہ دے چلو دی یہ سب ان میں سے دو اللہ کے دشمن ہیں اور دو جو ہے وہ سب سے بڑے دوست اللہ کے اور اللہ کے قریب ہیں they are the closest people to Allah جو اللہ کے دشمن ہیں one is Pharaoh one is Namrud, Nimrud. Pharaoh lived in time of Sayyidina Musa Ali Salam in that in those times. He was given a great kingdom. If Allah had significance of this world, Rasulullah Sallallahu said uh, a disbeliever, a rejecter of faith, a kafir would not get one sip of water farmaya nabi pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne agar is duniya ki 
قدر و قیمت مچھر کے پر کے برابر بھی اللہ کے ہاں ہوتی تو کافر کو ایک گونٹ پانی کا نہ ملتا گونٹ کیا اس کو تو اللہ نے بہت بڑی بادشاہت دے دی بول اللہ مالک الملک اللہ ہی ہے مالک ہی از دا اونر آف کنگڈم تو تل ملک امن دا شاہ ہی گیوز دا کنگڈم او اللہ یو گیو دا کنگڈم ہو ایور یو ول بٹ اٹ ڈزنٹ مین دیٹ ہی از پلیز ود دیٹ دوز پیپل فیرو اینڈ امرود ہو لیو ان حضرت ابراہیم علیہ السلام اینڈ دے بوتھ سیڈ وی آر گاڈ دے بوتھ سیڈ وی آر گاڈ ادر دین اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ دونوں نے کہا کہ ہم خدا ہیں وی آر گاڈ وی آر الاس فیرو سیڈ انا رب کم العلیٰ اللہ سمد مینشن دا قرآن ان صورت العلیٰ این و ان صورت عباسا نازیات وہاں تذکرہ ہے اور صورتوں میں اینڈ ان مینی ادر صورت اباؤٹ فیرو دیٹ ہی سیڈ آئی ایم گاڈ دیز نو گاڈ ایکسیپٹ می اینڈ امرود سیٹ ٹو ابراہیم علیہ السلام دیٹ آئی ایم دا ون احی و امید میں ہی زندہ کرتا ہوں میں ہی مارتا ہوں میں ہی خدا ہوں فلان احی و امید تو حضرت ابراہیم علیہ السلام بیکاز دے ہیڈ سچ واسٹ کنڈم اینڈ ٹو آف دی پیپل ادر ہو ور کلوز پیپل ٹو اللہ سبحان تعالیٰ دے پاس بفور رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم واز دی رولر ہی واز گیون دا کنگڈم شپ اینڈ دا خزائن آف دس دنیا اینڈ آخرہ But he chose actually not to have the outward uh, kingdom by him. So before him, Hazrat Dawood a.s. was a great prophet, Rasul, and a great king as well, who ruled outwardly as well. Prophet David, peace be upon him. And the second Hazrat, his son, Hazrat Suleiman al-Islam, who had such a kingdom that no one actually really before him had that type of kingdom because we are ruling over winds, trees, animals. So you are looking at now you are looking that in this world also there have been many, many kings. There are kings now, there are kings. So, uh, their powers now they have been super powers in the past and now but I've just given you a very uh, example to understand which, because these people you know these people you heard about Pharaoh you heard about Nimrud you heard about Hazrat Suleiman al-Islam you have heard about Hazrat Dawood al-Islam it is common knowledge so two of them were given kingdoms and both others were given a kingdom so this means that this world And treasures of this world are not significant in the sight of Allah. Because they fade away. And that's what Hazrat Suleiman Islam said about his kingdom. When he noticed that of, when his throne and takht was flying over with thousands of people on it, And one farmer, one normal person of his ummah, he saw it, Suleiman al-Islam, with thousands and thousands of people flying in the air with such majesty. And he thought that I am, look, I am farming, sowing the seeds. And he became that I also don't have this kind of uh, kingdom. So he said, Subhanallah, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given. Hazrat Suleiman al-Islam heard his voice and he knew about his, that he is feeling that he is, don't have this. So Hazrat Suleiman al-Islam instructed his throne to come down on the earth. So it came down on the earth near that farmer and Hazrat Suleiman al-Islam said that, Oh my Ummati, You are one, subhanallah, which you have said. 
is better than all the kingdom of Suleiman. Because you were looking and you thought of the world and worldly kingdom and it is my responsibility to guide you and I have come to give you this message that you are one subhanallah is more valuable than all the kingdom of Suleiman. He said because the reward of subhanallah will never perish in Jannah. You will be benefiting from it in the entire Jannah forever and ever. And Suleiman and his kingdom is going to perish. I am going to departure from this world. I will go from this world. I will go from this world. But I will not go from Subhanallah. I will not go from the Jannah. You will go from the Jannah. If you attain the kingdom there, it is forever. So you remember that our two cars can see someone who has said, yes, we are not going to be angry with God. We are not going to be angry with God. اس کو یہ مل گیا وہ مل گیا وہ تو میں اترابی کے بعد جو آیت پڑی گئی تھی the آیت was read from سورت سبا where Allah سبحانہ تعالی removed this confusion وہ انشاءاللہ اردو میں آپ کو بتائیں گے بہرحال بتانا آپ کو یہ ہے the purpose of mentioning this is کہ what do you want to call people towards you have to make clear to them they will only, you yourself and them will only come toward it when they will see there is more benefit, there is more success, there is more <coughs> status, there is more pleasure in there, there is more treasures in there. Only then, they are, otherwise they are not going to leave their whatever they are doing. So, Anbiya Ali Musalam and in Islam, the last of them, the final of them, the master of them, Sayyidina Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu in his Azan and also in Quran. Quran men starts from mentioning Ula'ika humul muflihoon and Qad aflaha man tazakka and in Azan Hayya alal falah, falah, falah. So such kingdom, after that there is no decline of that kingdom. Such Life, you ask people, have you got such life after there is no death? Fala, which my Prophet and Anbiya are calling is that life where there is no death after. Have you got that life? Can you give me that life? Can you give me that life where there is no death after? You know, we can't. Can you give me such honor after that where there is no dishonor? ایسی عزت دے سکتے جس کے بعد ذلت نہیں ایسی جوانی دے سکتے جس کے بعد بڑھاپا نہیں ایسا چین دے سکتے جس کے بعد بے چینی نہیں can you give me such peace after there where there is no grief unrestness no تو حیعہ علی الفلاح انبیاء علی مسلم came to call towards that kind of salvation فلاح and what we are playing with 20-30 years 40 years, if you have some achievement as well, compare it to the people. Pharaoh lived 400 years. People lived 300, 500, 700 years. 600 years. Where are they? Where are their kingdoms? Where are their children? Where are their other things? People don't even remember. Many of them. Forgotten people. So firstly, you should know that this is the important message that you can yourself and you can take humanity towards actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's obedience which means falah, which means falah and salvation. Now how to call towards yourself and others, that is important to know. That is what we are going to learn to some extent. یہ جو ہے وہ سیکھنا پڑے گا فرسٹ تنگ اف یو لوک ہیر اس سے میراج آف دا امتی دا اسینشن آف دا امتی رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم میراج 
how did it start his ascension how did it start there is a model for us as well there first thing happened was the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam was resting in the house of hazrat sayyida umm hani radhiyallahu ta'ala anha who was the sister of rasul allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam not the real sister but they had she was also drank uh, she was suckled by the same mother same lady as rasul allah so she was like a sister although she was cousin but she was sister so rasul allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was resting there and what first thing happened was that the roof of that house opened chhat jo hai wo phat gaya the roof actually opened and there came hazrat jibril alaihi salam with other angels and they with utmost respect by kissing very tenderly gently the feet of prophet alayhi salatu wasalam they woke him up to ye first thing this happened what is the lesson for us hamare liye isme phir kya sabak hai हमारे लिए ये सबक इसमें है द रसूल सल्लाम इवन स्लीप एंड हिज नींद नो रसूल सल्लाम सेट दैट वी अम्बिया आलिम इस्लाम आवर आईज स्लीप बट आवर हार्ट डोंट स्लीप स्टिल दे आर इन द प्रेजेंस एंड जिक्र एंड रिमेम्बरेंस ऑफ अल्लाह सो दे डोंट स्लीप sleep of ghafla that they have become forgetful but they are still in the presence and remembrance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but rather more even than wakefulness state because at that time they are not even uh, the wor- worldly distractions are not there for us the lesson is that we are not anbiya we are not <coughs> that have that kind of presence so what we what's normally what's happening to us is that we are sleeping the sleep of heedlessness rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sleeping really his own sleep that that is unparalleled it's better than even our zikr and our worship anything so i'm just giving you an example ke hum bhi so rahe hain hum ghaflat ki neend so rahe hain we are sleeping asleep a sleep of heedlessness ghaflat pata hi nahi hai jaage hi nahi hai we are not awake you want to invite people towards allah subhanahu wa taala and they say we are not interested in there do cheeze hain you want you go home after 10 days or whenever and you firstly it is for yourself that you have lost interest number 1 you yourself are in ghafla or you knew things but now you have gone down your motivation level your interest you've lost this it can happen or you are interacting with those people who said we are not interested at all in akhira in to allah subhanahu wa taala the sunna of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam they are not interested they are interested in dunya they don't want to listen to you unka kya ilaj hai how to in- interact with them how to invite yourself and them so not don't only keep them in mind keep yourself in mind as well because i can also go into the sleep of ghafla i can also even knowing what is right and what is wrong but lacking um, shortcomings have become lazy i was very very active for 
two weeks, then I became lazy, downhill. So this person, what is the solution of this person for yourself? And what is the solution for the other people who say, you know, I'm interested to buy that car, that career, that person I want to marry, that political leadership I want, that's my objective. I don't want to know what you are saying. I don't want to, although you have a formula to be a friend of Allah, but I want to be a friend of dunya. I want to be a friend of my political leader, a fan of a star, whoever they are. In logunga per kya ilaj hai? What did Ambiya Alim Islam did with these people? Aap kya karenge ja? Kaise inko invite karenge? This you are saying, yes, they are sleeping the sleep of ghafla and deception. Heedless. Swaya huwa hai banda. They are sleeping from akhira point of view, but wake in dunya. But they are asleep. Sleeping a sleep of forgetfulness. Although they are awake, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like said in the Quran, Am tahsabu anna akhtharhum yasma'oona wa yaqiluna. O Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, do you think that these, most of them, they have intellects, they are thinking people, pondering people, or the listening people. They have eyes, but they don't see. They have ears, but they don't hear. They have hearts and intellects, but they don't, they are not using it. They don't understand. They are like cattle. Cattle. Balhum adal, but rather even more astray. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, Khatam Allah wala qulubihim wa ala samahim, that there are whales in front of their eyes, their ears are sealed, eyes they are veiled, hearts are sealed. We think they are walking, talking, living people, very shrewd people, they are advancing politically, business-wise, socially, money-wise, they are very advanced people. But Allah is saying that they are people who are not hearing. They are people who are not understanding. So this means that from one dimension, they are asleep completely. Which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, which you heard yesterday, يَعْلَمُونَ ظَاهِرٌ مِّنَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا they only are awake of as far as the materialistic things are concerned. But they are in ghafla, in sleep, from the reality of the hereafter. So in logunka, what is the solution? Because the, today, majority is those people, including myself, I am also a person of ghafla, that they are asleep. And if you say to a sleeping person, a person who is sleeping here and he is ill as well and you have a book in front of you, brother, first thing which you should do is eat healthy diet. Second is you should have done some exercise every day. And also you should look after your body by cleaning it, etc., etc., and you, you are reading all these instructions, person is sleeping. Now you tell him what, what benefit is, he will get. That's what we and many ulama and vaizin, they are doing to people. People are asleep and they are giving them instruction. Allah says this, do this, don't do this. You know, you should be offering tahajjad, you should be doing this for three hours, four hours. There are seminars going, there are TV programs, there are books being read. But people, the audience is asleep. People are asleep. So any wise person will say that, why you are wasting your time? Wake him up first. Wake him up first and then say something to him. At least he will understand. So, so I'm talking about Firstly, I myself and yourself that if we become into the deep sleep, 
of forgetfulness, sinfulness, or other people who are not interested, your children, your wife, your relatives, they are not. They are in ghafla, they are in. So what do you do first? Do you give them instruction? You should be praying, brother, sister, you should observe hijab, brother, you should have beard, you should do this and that. If you say this, then you are actually really driving them even away from yourself as well and from religious people and from actually deen as well. They will, next time they see you from far away, they'll hide away. Oh, I don't want to see this person. Because they are asleep. They are asleep, they don't understand. So, Sometimes, so there are whales, like it's a, in whales in front of them. You exp, you're explaining to them, can you see that light? Can you see that clock? And they just actually say, yes, I think so. And they just nod. This means really they are in ghafla, they are in whale. They're just actually saying to make you feel good. But really they can't see anything. Or sometimes you are explaining a very simple thing, two plus two, four type of thing regarding Akira to people or some simple things to people they don't understand. And you think, why they are understanding? I am seeing it very clearly. But you don't know that on their mind there are whales. There are whales, there are seals which have sealed their hearing and watching, so they can't really see. You are being surprised. So two things, the solution of two disease. One, if you yourself lose interest and you become slackened, lazy, or again inclined towards shaitan and nafs. Second is how to interact with the vast majority of human beings which you live within them, how to invite them? Do you say things, read instructions about Islam to, towards them? No, you don't. What do you, how do you, first thing which you should do, taking from Rasulullah's life, even before Miraj happened, what was Prophet Islam doing? Even before the announcement of prophethood, what he was doing. You know, he could have been, he could have announced the prophethood at age of 20. There, there are many, many scholars of Islam who age of 14, 15 began to preach and give fatwa and they became great muhaddis and mufassir. These were not even sahaba, tabin, these were other people. Other scholars of Islam. Age of 13, 14 they were like Imam Jalaluddin Sayyuti, this um, Imam Abdul Rahman ibn al Jawzi, this lately passed Imam Ahmad Arzaha Brailvi, Rahimahumullah, all of them, at the very age of 13, 14, they were full fledged scholars. What about the Prophet, who was the student of Allah? Could he not preach at the age of 13 and 14? If the servants of servants of servants and slaves of slaves of his slaves actually can do th these things. But he announced at age of 40. What is the message there? The message there is before telling people anything about Islam, about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa about deen, about do's and don't. Firstly, you should have a social interaction in the best way possible with them as a human being. Pehli baat jo aap ko apne rishte daaroon, logoon ke saath jo karne, koi deen ki baat na kare. Pehla marhala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ki zindagi mein ye hai ki aapne 40 saal عمل سے ان کو ان کے ساتھ ان کو دعوت دی ہے 23 years with tongue and practice both and 40 years two thirds with just interaction 
with just character behavior behavior diya ab dekhe na difference of one third and two thirds 60 saala zindagi hai agar we round it up two thirds is interaction with just character the tongue is silent no preaching of deen no preaching of sharia no preaching of quran because the quran has not started descending and then one third was there after even practice accompanied that as well to pehla jo hai kisi ke sath bhi rishtedar hai aap deen ki talimat the teachings of deen don't speak people who are not good with you or you may say you think they are in ghafla just establish a relationship with them as a human being as a friend a social relation deal with them but do the dealings in the best way because that will establish a communication link between you and them after that you see if the line is connected you send anything it is going to get to the people if no line is established and you are speaking on the phone no matter you read all quran connect hai nahi hai mobile dusre ka number hi nahi mila hua the number has not been connected and you read all quran to uske to ek bhi lafz one word have not even got to his ears so like you have connection of through a mobile phone with the other firstly is to establish connection so the first is to establish connection with these non muslims and muslims and your relatives without you speaking one word they just see your character and you don't give them opportunity to point a finger at your character and your speech like prophet ali sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he was um, asked to announce and they made different excuses still people will do he said laqad bu'ithu fikum umaran min qabli i have lived a, a life a great portion of life in you that was truth they couldn't point anything that he owes us money and is not returning money to us he nauzubillah used uh, an inappropriate language he was not actually kind he was not helping person no to pehli baat aapko sikha raha hu the first bhule mat where we are coming from first i mention about what you are calling them is towards fala because they are going to come up with their own excuses and things i am happy here i am this my political career this is my social career i am a beauty queen etc etc i am <coughs> i have a very good voice but where will that voice go where will that beauty where will all those fans go after that so say i am talking about after some th- these things when all people are going to leave you all fans are going to say goodbye फैन का मतलब भी फैन है ये जिस तरह फैन होते हैं वो हवा की तरह होते चल रहे होते आए और गए हवा देते रहे बंद हो गए बंद हो गए उतनी वक्त हवा देंगे जब तक वो उनकी मर्जी है सो आई मैंशन टू यू दैट देन आई मैंशन टू यू वेरी क्लियरली दैट द सोल्यूशन ऑफ टू इलनेस वन इज वेन यू आर इन यूर सेल्फ हैज in spite of knowing the path to allah you have slackened shortcoming has come this is a illness that secondly when other people they say we are not interested in deen they are busy in their own life they are political in a political party they are in a social party they are for example busy in their career they are business minded people they are in media whatever they are they are busy and they think this is something uh, that actually is for other people and unfortunately there is the fault of religious people as well in there because instead of giving them the dawat by character speech they have made a joke out of deen because all these worldly people think that these people are after world as well kyunki duniyadar jo hai wo samajhte hain ye bhi paise ke piche lage hue kyunki bahut sare mazhabi log jo 
must be nahi hai sahi tarike se they are not really the pious righteous people they made the deen like you made your shop a business selling kebabs they made actually selling the deen actually a business they will give actually they will actually they have made it a business so the worldly people think we are in the same boat business is different our business is fashion our business is furniture they are their business product is deen and tawizat and these things but we are in the same boat to ye kiski galti hai is those people who really are not religious people but they are just actually uh, have actually in the shrouds and in the robes of religiosity aur wo bane hue hain and they actually make so the first thing anbiya ali muslim asked people was the, 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 the fundamental dawa they had all of them said la asalukum alayhi mala la asalukum alayhi ajra i don't ask any recompense from you any money from you in return or any wealth from you or any kind of even thankfulness i don't want anything from you that was qul la asalukum alayhi mala la asalukum allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioning about so many different prophets laqad arsalna ila thamud akhahum saliha qala ya qaum abdulla ma lakum ghayru afala tattaqun and about so many anbiya ali musalam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that with the fundamental daawat aaj jo hai wo pehle hi banda aata hai wo kehta hai pehle mujhe chanda do meri jeb bharo ae logo main ye chala raha hu wo chala raha hu i'm not criticizing those people but when these people do not care about the people who are in front of them they are caring about their money to get tam unko mana nahi karte that we don't actually criticize them but it is not wise when people are already delved in dunya and you don't pass the message of deen to them really and just wanting money from them they are never going to come toward deen because they will say that these people are also earning so a person who gives dawa to allah subhanahu wa taala the quran again and again and again mention they shouldn't be asking people any return in return of they are giving dawa in return in fact and if you do then they are doing a service like they might be teaching your children theek hai they are giving their time as a as money they are actually for example imam of the mosque they are doing it money but calling towards allah subhanahu wa taala that person is not allowed to actually ask people for personal gains in return you can do it for deen but but these people today even someone many people have called me to on the tv ke bhai phone karenge that okay you come hum aapko bhi paise denge and then we will actually get charity on the tv to those are tv walon ko 500 pound imam sahab ko and the other actually they are to wo to wo kya drama hai so the normal people when they know they become even further away from the ke bhai they have made a joke out of it bhai kabhi shah abdul qadir jilani ne hazur sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne bhi unhone pet pe patthar to bandha hai lekin haath phila ke manga nahi kisi se is a shah abdul qadir jilani haan deen ke liye unhone kiya lekin ye koi sodda bazi and not actually crafty things and not uh <coughs> pretend pretensions pretending to do things or <clears throat> so coming back to the point which i was on that your first line of dawa or interaction with yourself or the other people is just actually establish a communication line with them by your behavior and speech and and character but unke sath bas achhi baat kare like rasul allah sir sahaba said that we have not we did not see prophet sir sallam speaking to us without smiling that was the normal it's the most majority sometimes rasul sir sallam was very angry on people as well for allah subhanahu wa taala lekin aam jo tarika tha apne islam ne farmaya 
یعنی صحابہ نے فرمایا کہ نبی علیہ السلام مسکرا کے ہی ملتے تھے بات کرتے تھے وین ایور ایکچولی دے دے سو ان دیٹ از دا نو امر بہیوی سو ایون فرام دی لائف ٹائم آف دا پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یو کین فائن ایگزامپلس وین ہی گیو داوا ٹو پیپل اناؤنسمنٹ آف دا بوا ڈفرینٹ پیپل شو ڈفرینٹ ریئیکشنس and they will show different reactions now as well some will reject some will make fun you, fun of out of you some will criticize some will try to harm you some will try to kill you something some will try to put actually spell on you all different reaction some will try to poison you some will help you some will stand in front of uh, a few an old woman who heard that about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and she said she was worried that i want don't want to change my beliefs i don't want to change my beliefs and there's a person nauz billah she said a, a magician in the makka who actually anyone who hears him he changes who sees him she changes so she said, i don't want to see him i don't want to listen to him So she packed her old luggage and there she wanted to leave Mecca. She was on the way. I'm, t- I'm t- teaching you about interacting with people, establishing social connection and relationship with people. Not giving all the time verbal, but character-wise you are cursing and you are cunning and you are harming people. Your words are not going to do good. people are fighting with neighbors on bins mere bin mein ganda aapne dal diya us ne bin mein aapne dal diya to phir next day you call him to allah subhanahu wa taala from the front door wo kaise aapki baat sunega ke bhai ye mujhe gand ki wajah se to lad raha hai aur mujhe ye jannat mein leke jana chahta hai ye kaise ho sakta hai dustbin to deta nahi mujhe ye he didn't give me dustbin and actually he want to take me to paradise something looks dodgy in there yeah that's how what we are happening that for dunya for other things we when are actually have severe relationship with these people and then we invite them towards deen then they just think it is a joke but what rasul allah sallam did with this women he didn't give her a lecture he knew she is standing there with lot of luggage no person is helping her she is standing there prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam picked up her bag and said mother this seems heavy for you let me take you to the uh, stand where camels and others for taxi were standing for traveling she said okay son and he went there he knew she is a kafir a kafira he knew she is going because of me he knew she does not like me she does not like me to the extent that she want to leave the city for me do we also do like this to our relatives or people hame pata chal jaye although we are very religious that person have not called us on a dawa or on a birthday party or we see other that relative has invited some friends and we he is not invited us hamara mood hi off ho jata hai bhai khatam khatam baat se bhi finish then you really cannot actually become a kind of mercy for them or inviter for them buzurg ek buzurg farma rahe the galti jisse ye jurm kar diya kisi ne usne maafi mangi with your intention that is normal but the one who have who have been wronged if he ask forgiveness it is a different matter yani mazloom hi jo hai wo baat hi baat to daawat ke liye baar dafa ye bhi karna padta hai so properly salam salam picked up her luggage and didn't mention anything about islam he was talking about anything about islam he did not mention he was just helping her there they got to their destination 
still he didn't say anything but it was social interaction character building and also having est establishing a communication line so as soon as they were there still rasulullah sallam did not say anything and he said this is mother this is your destination and give me permission i am going so probably start even turned his back actually to, towards her while going but she said o oh son i have not asked your name even what is your name so prophet sir some still did say i am the messenger of allah etc etc because she on the way did talk with rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that i am leaving because i have heard there is a person called there is a mag magician in makka and he does such and such thing and he separates people from their forefathers deen etc rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he she is criticizing fully wo tanqeed kar rahi puri tarah lekin aap pehle islam kham hua to daawat dene ke liye baaz dafa unhe ko bahut sabr karna padta hai khamosh rehna padta hai bardash because you want to you are sacrificing a lesser good for a greater good he did not say that i am the person o oh mother why you are criticizing me main aapka saman uthaya hua hai to aap to hamare jaisa to usi saman phenk ke kehta main madad bhi kar raha hu aur jo hai ye mere se khilaf baat kar rahe hain ye to hamara tarika hai isliye log jo hai hamare paas nahi aate people don't benefit so prophet ali sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he turned his back towards her for going leaving her and she asked what is your name and prophet ali sallallahu alaihi wasallam only mentioned one word not that he is a messenger of allah he is just his name he said muhammad so as soon as he heard the name she was captivated by his vision and she looked upon him and she could not actually move her eyes from him وہی جو ہے اس نے کلمہ جو ہے پڑھا شاد و اللہ الہ الا اللہ و ان کا محمد رسول اللہ بڑا کلمہ اس نے گواہی دی کہ بھئی یہ ہے اللہ کے یہ تو اللہ کا رسول ہے سو انسٹیڈ آف رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سینگ آئی ایم دا میسنجر جس طرح ہم کہتے ہیں عربہ کا میں بزرگ ہوں میں نمازی ہوں میں عالم ہوں میں حاجی ہوں میں پیر ہوں ہم کہہ رہے ہیں دا میٹر از دا ادر پیپل سی دس از انیسٹ پرسن دس از صادق دس از امین this is this so coming back again to the same point that the first line if you want to invite anyone your friend don't even talk about deen or anything instructions about islam or anything whatsoever just build a social relationship with the person and if you if he asks money if you have borrowed money give it back on time or give rather more you get this is sunnah of rasulullah sallam that if anyone borrows money to give him more if the person demands it becomes interest but if you give it is called the best way of returning debt qarz sunnat tarika qarz wapas karne ka person of borrowed 100 pound you give him 120 person borrowed 1000 pound you give it on time and you give for example 1100 that is the best way of returning qarz that is the sunnah of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam unki daawat kare wo na bhi kare kare acche akhlaq se pesh aaye muskura ke pesh aaye jaise ke all, all these matters because shaitan is using same technique and it is very effective he has taken majority with him he comes to you he never first time he say to you become the enemy of allah i have come here to you because you should not pray you should commit all these things and i want you to be cursed etc etc to so wo ye to baat nahi karta wo ke main bhi chahta hu tum bhi lanti ban jao meri tarah aise baat to nahi karta wo kaun uske saath phir lagega main chahta hu tum jahannam mein pahunch jao wo koi baat nahi sunega uski ہم اسی طرح کہتے ہیں میں چاہتا ہوں تم جنت میں پہنچ جاؤ وی ٹوک اباؤٹ تھنگس وہ کیا کرتا ہے ہی کمس اینڈ ہی اسٹیبلش ریلیشن شپ وٹ ایور یو لائک ہی جسٹ ایکچولی منگلس ود یو فرسٹلی وٹ ایور یو ڈوئنگ گڈ ٹھیک ہے ہی از ود یو بٹ ان دیٹس گریجولی دا 
then he starts to give his message. And slowly, slowly he takes you away. So similarly, that's why These people are dancers. These people are actually uh, people of evil or people who are fusak and fujar and druggies and or kufar. We are not going to, they are bad people. But have you ever thought that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always sent Ambiya alayhi islam towards bad people and kufar who had many, many vices and sometimes even actually they didn't have iman. Yani Allah Jalla Majduhu have sent even the most purest people who were the Anbiya alayhi islam to the most impure ones at their times. So going to them, interacting with them, different ways. There might be a bereavement, there might be a happy occasion, there might be different, there might be just be a phone call uh, and things. And you are mu'amalat, especially dealings, financial dealings, marriage dealings and other things. These things count a lot. Because you are then investing your respect and communication in them as a human being. After that, then the point of dawah will come. So, ye jo aapko bataya hai that the, we know the people ourselves we are in sinfulness and heedless life, deceptions of the world and 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 shaitan we are in ghafla sleeping. So, so what did Jibreel Islam do? He woke up the Prophet وسلم, from his blessed his sleep of highest level of worship that is our sleep his sleep but we are learning at our own level we are sinful we are sleeping a sleep of ghafla and heedlessness how to wake up ourselves and others hum kaise jagenge so i mentioned to you first thing is you should have a good social relationship with the person saying how are you etc etc no matter of deen once you've established that a respect or if you can help the person in any way help them as well not actually burdening yourself but just generally be good to them even be a, a non-muslim whatever they do is their action as you have seen uh, this picture before some of you some of you have not this is a template to the a path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is in your book as well. But anyway, to wake up people from ghafla, from sleep, you don't mention any do's and don'ts of Islam. You shouldn't listen to your music, you shouldn't drink alcohol, you should observe hijab, or you should pray five times and tahajjad. Oh yes, these things are there. But this is not the time for that. First thing is that you mention these things which are mentioned here to them. Whenever you interact with them, speak with them other things, but these things as well. Or you may say these things, category. Because these things are not saying to you to do something, but they are changing the mind of the person. They are changing the mind of the person. The person will be happy for, to listen because you are not demanding something from him. Agar taap kahe chalo masjid mein saath namaz padho. Come with me. Do this. Don't do this. Then the person will show reservations. But these things, if you talk even with non-Muslims, that this is, for example, our, our idea or our belief, why we exist, as a matter of interest, they will hear as well. There's no harm in exchanging opinions. So the things which you mention are actually these things. So I'm not going into detail, but anyone can hear the DVD. Because this, these uh, 10 days, I will not be going very much in detail of this, but actually teaching you some of the tools and why these things are important and how you use these things. We are not going to use, go into the details of the tool, but how to use that tool. Why, why is it there for? Because you, Alhamdulillah, most of you know, and if you don't, you can 
learn after. So for example, you interact with someone, like I was mentioning to you yesterday, you say to your brother or sister, you know, we've learned that our spirits, our rule, have taken a covenant, a promise with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some incident took place. You know that? He might say no, he, or he might say he don't know. You, might, you can mention that. So you've sowed a kind of seed in his heart and mind that I've taken a promise and a trust from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, amana, which I mentioned after Juma, uh, after Taraweeh yesterday. Or you mention about the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is, uh, means that no creation existed, only Allah existed. You can bring anyone to this point, even scientists, that they'll say, in the beginning there was nothing. Muslims already believe in that. So Allah's greatness, mentioning Allah's greatness, you're not asking them to do something, but you are sowing the seed, you're changing their way of thinking. Now they think something else is great. So that is why Azan is the best form of dawa. Azan, Azan, you know, wo dawat ka ek bhot jame tasavvar. Ab dekhe Azan kaan se shuru hoti hai? Azan begins with Allahu Akbar. To yeh na yahan se shuru ho raha hai. Allahu Akbar, nothing else is there. Allah is the greatest. Azan shuru ya Allah. Ke Allah ki badai pe chaar dafa hai. Ke firstly mention the greatness of Allah. Because if a person is impressed, this is the chairman, this is the president, this is the, the king, people, they actually change their way of thinking, they change their interaction, they change their preference, this is the director of the company, this is the prime minister, this is chief officer. So when you are going to mention to them about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala power and greatness and what he can do to people and what he can give, what he can take away, Allahu Akbar, meaning you re repeat Allah's greatness many, many times. This is four times azan mein aata hai. Great that Allah. World of spirit, reality of this dunya, I've already mentioned to you to some extent. What is reality of dunya, temporal nature? What's going to happen after death? Life of cover. So if you mention, if you go visit a relative, you're talking about worldly things, and you mention one hadith about what happens in the grave with a believer, you've left something in him. He won't feel, but you actually left your seed in there. That's how shaitan works as well. He just put seeds first, thoughts first in people. Have you ever seen shaitan grabbing someone by hand and, you know, taking him to a bad place? No, he changes you by actually sowing seeds. So if you want to bring towards goodness, you have to sow seeds first. Don't sow seeds and we want actually the plants. So barzakh and the bad part of the barzakh, the punishment part, then the day of judgment, hell and paradise. In you don't need to mention in order. Anything you interact with someone and you think they are in ghafla or they are asleep, these are two things to wake them up. It's like you are actually waking them up. So where we have learned this all from? From Jibreel alayhi salam waking up the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi His sleep was sleep of zikr and remembrance. تو مراج کا پہلا سبق یہ ہے کہ وہ چھت دیکھیں نا پہلے چھت کھولا that is the first point which I meant that you should establish a social relationship and interaction good character, good speech good behavior with those people that is the example of the roof opening اب چھت ہی نہیں کھولا ہوا تو آپ کیسے بندے دا پہنچیں گے آپ اس کو جگہ کیسے سکتے ہیں وہ تو اندر کہیں بندہ سویا ہوا ہے People are sleeping in the rooms of ghafla, shaitanic ideas. Firstly, you need to get to them, don't you? 
और डॉक्टर जब ऑपरेशन करेगा कहीं तो पहले तो वो ही नीड टू रीच दैट ऑर्गन यू कॉन्ट अपरेट समी यू डोंट हाउ कॉन्ट रीच सो रिमेंबर मैनी ऑफ यू नॉट मे बी अंडरस्टूड येट एज वेल आई एम कमिंग बैक टू द मेराज फर्स्ट थिंग हैपन इन नाइट ऑफ मेराज जिबरील इस्लाम ओपन द रूफ वे रसूल सलमास वो क्या मैसेज दे रहा है द मैसेज ऑफ ओपनिंग द रूफ इज वट आई मैंशन टू यू दैट यू डोंट इवन से टू दैम एनी थिंग ऑफ दीन बट जस्ट यू हैव इंट्रैक्शन यू जस्ट रीच देयर हार्ट वेर एवर दे आर इन देयर वर्ल्ड मे बी यू हैव टू गो टू बैड प्लेसेस टू इन्वाइट दैम मे बी यू हैव टू लिसन टू देयर योर क्रिटिसिजम तो पहले तो है ना कि उन तक पहुंचे जहां वो सोए शैतान ने उनको कमरे के अंदर बंद किया हुआ है शैतान हैव इनक्लोज दैम इन अ शेल वो वहां से ना सुन सकते हैं इट इज साउंड प्रूफ द शैतानिक शेल विच शैतान एंड दुनिया द डिसेप्शन ऑफ दुनिया इज अ साउंड प्रूफ वहां साउंड नहीं आ सकता इट इज विजन प्रूफ यू कांट इवन सी वो बाहर से उसको नजर ही कुछ नहीं आ रहा आवाज भी कुछ नहीं आ रही आप बाहर बैठ के कमरे के इफ इस रूम इज साउंड प्रूफ यू आर स्पीकिंग वेरी वेरी लाउडली शाउटिंग उसको तो कान में जो भी नहीं रेंगेगी नथिंग एक्चुअली बट इज नॉट बादर्ड का साउंड प्रूफ रूम है नथिंग इज रीचिंग हिम आप समझे तो पहले क्या करना पड़ेगा यू हैव टू हैव ओपनिंग यू हैव टू हैव एन ओ फाइंड एन ओपनिंग टू गेट टू देयर so those yourself or other people firstly they are sinful they are killers they are drug druggies and whatever the evil they are in you have to find a way firstly to get in to know them and reach their heart at that time no mention anything about deen religion anything that is what you have firstly you need to establish a relationship and there there are many many <coughs> stories of anbiya al islam which exemplify them uh, but we will not go into a detail so firstly and where did jibril al islam enter the house through a door or he opened the roof upar se aaye so this means that you have to have a, a very broad approach broad approach a overwhelming comprehensive approach to reach them ye to pehla ho gaya ki chhat ka khol chhat ka khulna miraj mein second was jibril al islam kissed the feet of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam hamare liye kya message hai kissing the feet refers to that we should approach people with respect no matter they are sinful and rebellious lekin aap unka izzat ehtiram se pesh aana hai unse ये पांव चूमने से ये सबक मिल रहा है जी बरी इस्लाम खिज द फीट ऑफ रसूल वसल्लम फॉर रिस्पेक्ट एंड ऑनर एज ही वॉज द खादिम एज ही वॉज द स्टूडेंट एज ही वॉज द उम्मी ऑफ द प्रोफेट वसल्लम दैट इज डिफरेंट मैर वी आर नॉट ड्राइंग एनी पैरल बट वी आर जस्ट टेकिंग लेसन एट एर ओन लेवल बिकॉज वी आर सिनफुल पीपल वी आर लर्निंग ये महराज के जो हैं इशारात हैं जो मिल रहे हैं कि किसी को दावत देन या वेन यू आर एक्चुअली गिविंग दॉन्ट टूवर्ड सम यू वॉन्ट टू अप्रोच सम वन आफ्टर यू हैव एस्टेब्लिश सोशल रिलेशनशिप डोंट डिसरिस्पेक्ट दैम डोंट डिसऑनर दैम अप्रोच दैम फ्रॉम द फीट उनके आज जी इनकसारी के साथ उनके साथ बिकॉज देर ऑलरेडी इन गफला देर नॉट बादल इफ यू दे डोंट लिसन टू यू सख्ती जो की जाती है ना स्ट्रिक्टनेस रसूल वसलम ने भी सख्ती की ऑन होम हु वॉज लाइक हु आज वेरी क्लोज टू हिम लाइक द सहाबा रिजवान अजमाइन हुआ बिलीव एंड हु न्यू द स्टेटस देन ही वुड नॉट इवन इवन ही वुड नॉट आंसर सलाम ऑफ सम ऑफ दैम इफ ही वॉज इफ दे डिड लिटल बिटल रॉन्ग थिंग ही वुड नॉट ऑफर आंसर सलाम वेल कुफार ही इज ए वेलकमिंग कुफार and because he want to give them dawa three sahaba prophet sallam did not speak to 40 days 40 din unhone maafi mangi aake the those who were left behind in our expedition 40 years 
and 40 days or so, Prophet Lai cut ties with them. But they did not go. For example, said, oh, we are not bothered. We are not bothered about Prophet Islam, whatever, you know, if he is... Junaid, what are you doing? We are not bothered about the Prophet ﷺ, even if he is displeased with us. Because they still actually thought that, that he is the messenger وسلم, and believed and we want to. So that kind of strictness and harshness is used either very close people like where your students, your wife, your brother or who are who have kind of attachment with you but with other people who don't have any attachment and relationship with they are just independent living people Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jalani Rahmatullah said it's only the great awliya great awliya Allah who smile and are respectful towards great sinners they smile on their face, they don't dishonor them in the face of great sinners and rebellious people. From my case, Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jalani Rahmatullah Alayne, that these Arifin can do that they can do Fussaq and Fujjar and Sharabi and Kababi on their mouths and they can do that they can do that and 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 they can do that جو عام مذہبی لوگ ہیں جس نے نماز شروع کر لی دین میں آگیا نیا نیا یا عام مومن ہے وہ تو گناہگار کو دیکھ کے تو وہ اپنے موچھے قصد یعنی ٹینس ہو جاتا ہے یہ اللہ کا نافرمان ہے سارا مئی وہ اور پیچھے باگ جاتا ہے he runs away further وہ کہا یہ تو مجھے پسند ہی نہیں کرتا he doesn't like me تو seriousness جو ہے وہ اس کا بھی there is a stage for it, there is a moqam for it, or na hona bhi moqa. But those who are very attached to you, if they are your students, your brothers, your son, daughters, very close people who know, you know that if you will be displeased, they will correct themselves. Unke saath to sakhti hai. Other people, relatives who are independent living, other people, social people living, or sinners, they have no attachment. If you don't do it with them, they are not bothered. So, to bring them, you need to use the rope of love and honor, actually, to withdraw, attract them, to take them away from shaitan. So, try to understand that. So, as I mentioned, the Prophet ﷺ, was strict with the people who were very close to him, like Sayyidina Abu Bakr Sadiq, Sayyidina Umar, Usman Wali, and the Sahaba Rizwan Ajmaeen. But with others who were far away, he was lenient with them to actually give them dawah and bring them closer. So I gave you the example that opening of the roof is the example that you approach the person. Firstly, there should be a link. Kissing of the feet is that you, with respect, and care and compassion. Respect is different, but compassion, com having a compassion, you are a well-wisher of that person. And then you wake up through your compassion. How you wake up, as I have mentioned to you, whenever you interact with them, it might take one year, it might take two years. How many people were among Sahaba who became Muslim after the migration, after 13 years? How many were the Sahaba who came Muslim after 15 years? How many Sahaba came Muslim after 17 years? And how many came became Muslim at the time of Fatah Makkah after 23 years, 20, uh, 22 or 23 years? Meaning people will take different times. But I am mentioning to you, myself and yourself, the, the wisdom. What is so you don't mention do's and don'ts. Ye mat kaho, tum daari rakho, tum sharab na piyo, tum gaana bajana na gao, tum parda karo, ye na karo, wo na karo. Ye aam, ye log hai. Aisa Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ne nahi firmaya. Us tarah, pehle mertbe mein ye. 
حکم ہی نہیں آئے دی کمانڈز ور ناٹ کمانڈز ور ریلیٹڈ ٹو دیز تھنگز تو واپس اس طرف جاتے ہیں سو واٹ یو بیسکلی مینشن ٹو دیم از فضائل ورچیوز آف ڈفرینٹ آمالس ورچیوز دا بینیفٹس آف جنا دا بینیفٹس آف آمال دا بینیفٹس آف پریئرس دا بینیفٹس آف حجاب دا بینیفٹس آف بیئر دا ریوارڈ آف دیز تھنگس اللہ کی بڑائی آخرت کی آمد جس طرح آپ کو بتایا دیز تھنگس لائفس آف دا پروفٹ اسٹوری پیپل لائک اسٹوریز اڈلٹس اینڈ چلڈرن دے لائک اسٹوریز کوئی کہانی بتائیں ان سے سبق نکالے ان پہ سو ویکنگ اپ دا ایگزامپل آف جی بریر علیہ السلام از ایکچولی مینشننگ دیز تھنگس ٹو اس اینڈ سین فل پیپل دیز لائفس آف دا پروفٹس کمپنی اینڈ اولیا کمپنی آف دی پائیس اینڈ رائٹیس ریڈنگ دا ہولی قرآن حدیث ریالٹی آف دنیا and gathering the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, knowledge and all these things. They are things to, you, to be used to wake people from ghafla. So up to there you've not said anything about do and don't in deen. 